Hello, today I'm going to show you how to knit them uh, seam using a bias binding. This is a commercial bias binding. Uh, in another video, I will show you how to prepare your bias binding from scratch. So this is a double uh, bias binding. So I already have the seam. You make the seam and you iron. You iron it out. Then you come with your bias binding and you place on the edge of the seam. Make sure it's uniform. I've used a different color because I want us to to get the skill. So you place it well. You can measure out the length of your seam before you cut or you can do it uh, manually. Then you cut. And then you, when you put your bias, you make sure it's fitting, binding well, all the way. So for you to be able to ensure that it's in place, you tuck, if you are a professional, uh, Fashionista, tailor, or sewer, or straight seamer. You can do it uh, straight, but you can do basting. Basting or tacking. You can use tacking stitches before you do the final stitching. And do this thing. Or you can pin. You can pin. It's uniform. or you can pin whichever you want. So after pinning or tucking, you do the same on the other side, the other side of the seam. You can iron out.
do what you call this thing. So after tucking a basting or a pinning, you can now stitch on your bias and you stitch close to the edge, ensuring that. So after tucking your edge stitch edge stitch close to the edge using the scissors here on the sewing machine and stitching on both sides then you remove the tacking thread you can use the seam ripper to remove the tacking thread Then you go to the other side The other side of the Remember you are working from the wrong side Of the fabric stitching on the other side stitch close to the edge we have used a different color so that we see the skin the other side now you can remove 
the attacking thread can use a seam ripper so this one is mostly used on um, skirts and light skirts and jackets and uh, mat uh, fabrics or materials which are not heavy light or medium weight fabrics and the uh, seam is here well knitted and you can iron to finalize So in another video I'm going to to make a bias a binding from scratch. So this is a double folded bias. This is what we So this is the seam knitted by bias binding. It's ironed out on both sides. Uh, in the in another video i'm going to make a bias binding from scratch and use it for knitting so this was the commercial bias binding this is the commercial bias binding which is of double edge that was used so please subscribe uh, share, give your comments. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.